I'm uh, Fritz Peterhorn. I'm an ear, nose, and throat physician. Uh, the medical term for that is otolaryngology head and neck surgery. We deal with diseases of the ear, nose, throat, head, and neck. And I've been in Spartanburg practicing medicine for the last seven years. Sinus problems are simply inflammation of the inside of the nose. So sinusitis is the medical term for inflammation of the sinuses. Many times it's related to inflammation of the nose or rhinitis. Uh, this is an extraordinarily common condition. It affects uh, approximately 20% of the population. We have equipment such as an endoscope where we can look deep inside the nose and see if there is an anatomical problem which is uh, predisposing a patient to sinus disease. We also have the ability of getting CAT scans to look and see if there are anatomical narrowings, uh, things that cause or predispose a patient to having sinus disease. The most common treatment for uh, sinus disease and inflammation of the nose that we recommend is simple saline irrigations. So that is something we recommend very frequently and we go over with our patients the proper way of doing that. Uh, and then what that does is help to uh, remove inflammatory mucus from the nose. Uh, other things we use are topical medications uh, such as steroids to decrease inflammation. Uh, if allergies are a component of the disease, we will treat the allergy process. Uh, we, if medications and uh, rinses do not work, uh, many times if there are anatomical problems, then surgery is an option. The treatment of sinus disease with surgery uh, has evolved over the years, and we all in our practice use uh, endoscopes. We no longer do many surgeries uh, with incisions on the outside of the face.